Alright, so hi guys. Hopefully my uh, audio doesn't mess up this time. Today we are drinking a wonderful root beer. While we talk about something that's not really cute, I say as I drink something else that is also not really cute. But, so as the title says, and you might be like, huh? Why do you want to talk about this, Michelle? Well, it kind of hunkers back to my roots where it's one of those things where... You know, I'm seeing it more and more, and I want to talk about it. And it's about the whole, like, (sighs) glamorization of, like, alcoholic moms. Oh, Michelle, that's not a thing. It is. Have you not noticed? Because I'm noticing it more and more. I noticed it years ago. But it's becoming more and more, like, in your face and... I don't, I don't know. I don't like it. I, I, I can't be the only one who doesn't like it. Um, fun fact, if you guys didn't know this, I actually had alcoholics in my family and alcoholism runs in my family. And I've had family members, close family members who've had really serious issues with alcohol. And ironically enough, I've also had, uh, issues with alcohol to where I actually had to set rules for myself so that I wouldn't fall into the trap of alcoholism because addictive personalities were on in my family. And I already have one vice as I slurp my soda. You know, I don't need another one. But I remember, okay, so the first time I really, really, really noticed it. And like, mm, it didn't sit well with me was I was in my early 20s. And... We were in a store called Charming Charlie's, okay? And uh, I don't know if Charming Charlie's is still around, but Charming Charlie's was a store where their whole, like, gimmick was they had everything in every color. So let's say you really, really liked this style of wallet, but it only came in, like, peach. You could get it in, like, literally any color in the Charming Charlie store. But they also had, like, knickknacks and novelty things and themed things. And so... I remember getting a gift card for a Christmas gift and I went to Charming Charlie's with a couple of my friends and we were looking at the things because at the time and still now, I don't really need more bags. I don't really need wallets. I don't really need a lot of stuff, especially because, you know, time recording this six spiky round boy still out. So it's not like I'm really, you know, going out on the town. Um, but I was looking and I was thinking like, oh, I'll get myself like a cup or a mug or something. Right. And we were looking at all this stuff and like, so many of them were like, haha, wine o'clock, or don't talk to me, you know, blah, 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 blah. And like, I'll have pictures on screen of what I'm talking about because I, I, I can't think of like the really quippy ones, but it's just glamorizing, you know, like day drinking and alcoholism, which isn't cute and isn't funny. And I still see it to this day to where there are a lot of people around my age who will make memes like, "Uh uh-huh, you know, it's always five o'clock somewhere, so I'm just gonna have, like, an entire giant glass of wine, you know, for my lunch. And now keep in mind, again, when I'm talking about this, I'm not shaming the people that every now and then, you know, get a glass of wine with dinner, or every now and then have, like, a a mimosa or a rosé or something. I'm literally talking about the people to where, like, you know, it's totally fine and socially acceptable for a mom, especially a mom as the meme come from, to drink like an entire bottle of wine by herself in one night. But then will shame, you know, dads for drinking like nine to ten beers in a night when they're both wrong and they should both be shamed like I don't know I I can't be the only one that's noticed it that it's like ooh cutesy to like be a wine mom or be a wino compared to like any other alcohol when it's still alcohol like let's be honest they wouldn't be drinking it if it wasn't alcohol because if it was for the grape juice you'd be seeing a lot more people drinking grape juice because it's the sweeter alcohol (laughs) and It just, it bugs me. It bugs me that it's the double standard. It's the thing that it's like, oh yeah, you know, you'll have uh, someone get like a margarita or a martini at dinner 
and that's more frowned upon than a glass of wine. It's like, oh, well, that's pure vodka. And you know, Michelle, doctors say a glass of what? Yeah, a six ounce. You, you guys ever look into that? Like, like that whole, because a lot of people use that, like, uh, doctors say a glass of red wine. A glass of red wine before bed is good for a healthy heart. Yeah, it's a six ounce. Six, that's, that's like a small version of a cup of tea. That's not what people are drinking. That's not what the memes are about. The memes are like these giant wine glasses and like drinking half a bottle or, you know, just having like wine o'clock stuff. And it it doesn't sit well with me, especially in the culture of it being moms, you know, especially because like, hi, fun fact, if you're new here, I care a lot about kids. I used to be a teacher's aide for two years. I actually wanted to be a teacher for quite a while. I also wanted to go into pediatrics and I actually wanted to be a child psychologist and now I do art. So, you know, the world is a wild, crazy place, but I have a big passion when it comes to little kids and things like that. And the fact that like kids are a lot more receptive than people think they are, like it just kind of bugs me. It bugs me that, you know, again, uh, in the same vein, if, you know, if a dad drinks, you know, half a thing of whiskey in a night or, or, you know, a bunch of beers or tequila or anything like that, that's, that's, that's disgusting. You have a problem, but lol, wine moms, it's cute. It's trendy. Uh, I'm going to like, you know, tag on Twitter about like tricking the bartending people and getting more alcohol because you know it's wine so it's good for my heart and yeah and it's just gross just it's just gross to me it's it's literally like you're just you're trying to pretend you're not an alcoholic when you are and it's a problem that like a lot of people have like okay so really old show that did not age too well but i remember something i really liked in the show desperate housewives i know I'm, i'm one of those people was there was a whole like arc for Brie Vandekamp and her alcoholism and it was the whole point was her alcoholism was you know her wine and it was really big and it stuck out to me a lot because it wasn't something that went away in a single season you know it kept going and it came back and it was something she constantly fought with and there was even a part where you know her son ends up becoming an alcoholic when they do the time skip and he's an adult and she's like listen you got it from me like you are predisposed to this you have a problem. You can't, you can't just have a single thing of wine. You can't just have a single thing of, you know, of vodka or whatever. And, but we're, we're being put in a time where it's trendy. It's cute. It's people selling merch. It's, 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 and I just don't think it is. I, I don't, I don't think it's cute. I don't think it's trendy. I don't think it's, 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 you know, quirky to be like, God, you know what sucks? My kids. I just, Man, being a mom is just so stressful that I just I just have to get drunk every single night. <laughs> Instagram post isn't it cute and quirky. It's like no, it's not. It's gross. And I really wish more people would talk about it cuz I was seeing it more and more too where you're also seeing the wine mom mentality now go into autism spaces. So that's something else I think is really disgusting is that there's like a whole subsect now of like mm, the autism one today. So, you know, time to drink my feelings and uh, my autistic, I'll put pictures on screen. I'm not, like, not making this up. And I saw another YouTuber talk about this. And if I can remember who it was at the time, I'll, I'll put their link in the description or I'll like slap the video on screen real quick. But I remember just being like, yeah, it's it's gross. It's gross that we're like normalizing mothers getting s- drunk to deal with their kids. That should never be a point. And then before people start tip tapping and the comments like, "Well, Michelle, you don't have kids. You don't understand." You're right. You're right. I don't have kids. I don't understand. But you know what? Uh, my parents had a dry household growing up until like we were out of high school. I had alcoholic family members. You know, like, like you, you can live in dry households. It's, it's not weird. It's, it's really not. You, just like this, it's like you can meet people who don't want to drink. And I am not even an anti-alcohol person. I like a good Mai Tai. I like, you know, pre-rona. I like going out every now and then with my friends and having a nice time at a restaurant or a bar. Uh, I'm not anti-alcohol here. I'm anti, it's cutesy 
because it's wine. It's cutesy because doctors say it's healthy. It's because no, you're going to kill your liver either way with the, the amount you're drinking because you're not looking at the statistics. You're not looking at the numbers. And I need to mute Discord on my phone again. And, you know, the fact that you, you have this, like, terrible connection now where you're telling these young moms, like, <laughs> okay, it's all right. We all have to get up, you know, and drink our coffee. And then, you know, the second it hits four o'clock, you can just, you know, drink your problems away with wine. You know, the stresses, you can just drink them away. Look at these, like, ooh, ooh cutesy... And I'll put more of it on screen. It's I just think it's gross. And I think that it's like, it's becoming more and more normalized and joked about. And I, I don't think it's funny. I know like humor is supposed to be ex subjective and stuff. But like, as someone who grew up, like, I thought it was normal that for the family member I had, we would be like, oh yeah, so-and-so family member has to drink. Like, six to seven beers you know we didn't know it was beer so it was like the silver sodas until they're fun they're the fun family member that we like hanging out with at family functions yeah like that's not normal and you know you instilling that in your kids that it's like ha, uh -huh. you know mommy's all stressed out and all worry but after dinner mommy gets so uh, gets her silly juices and that's like so cute and it's how she cut because it's gross it's it's a lot like like weed culture and I know that's like a weird parallel here but again I'm not anti-cannabis again where I live if you're over the age of 21 you can get it legally and I think I think federally in America it's like legal too I have no issue with people who smoke weed and partake in it. again yeah fun fact oh, I've done it I know I'm such a sinful terrible person but there's a difference for when you do it every now and then recreationally or you do it every now and then to relax it's different when it becomes a medication Okay. And before, again, before people start commenting, um, you can't get addicted to the 420 grass. That's impossible. And it's like, no, you can. Sorry. I've met people. I've met and anybody who's been around a hardcore pothead knows exactly what I'm talking about, where if they don't smoke for like a day, they're like irritable, aggravated. No one wants to be around them and they're not fun. That's, that's kind of an addiction. You need a vice to get through your day. That isn't like, actual medication prescribed by a doctor huh and it comes back around to that because you'll see people who will just tell people these things and they're like mm -hmm. well it's not beer mm -hmm. well it's not hard drugs mm -hmm. well it's not this or that or mm -hmm. it's not no 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 it's like it's still bad it's still bad like you want to enjoy wine go ahead but i i had a friend uh in my early youth had one of my bad ones where I had a friend come forward and actually say that she was worried about becoming an alcoholic because she had gone through some stuff that I'm not going to mention here, but she had gone through, she had gone through some very personal things here. And she was like, Hey, at our hangouts, when we like go be buddy, buddy, can we just not have alcohol? I, 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 I'm worried I'm developing a problem and it runs in my family. Again, as someone who's been around alcoholics and has alcoholics in their family, I knew it was that like, all of our friends were like, no, it's cool. One of our friends though. One of our friends, who was a POS, literally was like, well, that sucks. You were my wine friend. Like, what? who am I going to bars, go to bars with now? It's like, um, your friend who's not having an issue and is strong enough to admit they might be having a problem? And this said friend would bring wine to these events and get smash out drunk on wine. Because it was just wine. It's not the same as vodka or rum. It's wine. So who cared that, you know, she would drink two bottles in a night? She wasn't an alcoholic, no. Mm -mm. That's just what we do. You have like a glass, you know, for lunch and you have a glass for dinner and then you have a glass to go to sleep. And it's like, it's a lot. Sounds, sounds kind of like alcoholism. It's not, it's wine. It's healthy for you. It's, that's why, that's why you're so relatable. And it just kind of bugs me. It, 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 I think it's like gross that it's becoming more and more normalized and more and more jokes about it where, it's becoming more and more okay to just, you know, joke about your problems when they're not things to joke about. Like, especially something as serious as alcoholism that can destroy families and does cost a lot. Because I'm, I'm even seeing it more and more on TikTok where, as I follow a couple of health places and a couple of, you know, diet things. I know I say as I sip my soda, I'm such a hypocrite. But 
I was watching it and it would be like, you know, oh, and mommy's favorite wine's on sale. So of course I have to get like nine bottles. And then like they actually buy nine bottles and ooh, that's cute. Uh, that's not cute. That's a problem. But it's on sale. It's okay. It's like, do, do, do you run through it that fast? Do other people run through it that fast? Am I the crazy one here? Like, cause sometimes I feel like I'm nuts. But then I talk to my friends where it's like, yeah, it's not cute. It's not silly. Like I, I wouldn't get any of my friends who are parents drinky drinky wine mom merch because i i think that's gross and i i need to know that i'm not alone here especially when you're seeing stuff where it's like yep the only way to cope with my kids is to become an alcoholic because <laughs> it's cute and i know I'm, I'm 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 reiterating myself here so i'm just gonna end it here but it needs to be something that needs to be like stopped and brought more attention to because it's not cute it's it's not quirky it's it's not and like these people also get really defensive too, if you notice it. And they'll try to like throw stats at you, like I said, but they're like, doctors say this, and oh, this is that, and oh, this is that, and no, 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 And it's like, yeah, but did you actually like read it? Again, six ounces a night, not throughout the day, <laughs> you know, not the heavy duty stuff, not with other things, not when you're doing other things. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's just stressful and irritating and gross because you wouldn't see this stuff cutesified in any other way you know yes they have beer pong and beer drinking merch and and whiskey stuff like that but it's it's not to the same extent and it's not as okay and that's the issue here is again i'm not anti-drinking i'm not anti-having fun i'm not that at all i just i don't like when it's specifically attached to usually women coping with their children because that's gonna end up messing them up in the long run because like I said earlier kids are a lot more smarter and a lot more receptive than people think like a lot <sighs> anyway there's my weird ramble opinion thing let me know what you guys think down below uh commenting for the bot has been helping so so much let me know your thoughts and opinions on this or other like topics like this you would like me to cover and talk about. I, I love feedback like that. And that always helps. And and your stories, if you've had weird stories like that, where you felt like you were the odd one being like, that's kind of not cute. Um, but yeah, thank you as always to my Patreon patrons. My social media links are in my link tree link down below. Thank you as always for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And always, 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 guys. I will. See you next time. Bye-bye.